John Boykin from the Gilson Engineering Toledo office. Today we're going to look at the, some of the common troubleshooting issues we see with the Siemens Probe LU ultrasonic level transmitter. The Probe LU has the most advanced diagnostics of any ultrasonic level transmitter on the market to help pinpoint performance issues. If the Probe LU occasionally displays higher level than actual level, the sensor may be experiencing ringback. With ringback, the transducer face continues to vibrate after the transmit pulse has ceased. What this means is the sensor is still ringing when it is time for it to listen for the return echo. To prevent ringback, don't over tighten the sensor. Also, you may consider using Teflon tape for threaded sensors in order to reduce ringback. Nozzles can create problems with ultrasonic sensors. Siemens suggests any mounting nozzle length be no longer than three times its diameter. Stilling wells are acceptable in many cases as long as some liquid always remains in the well. Obstructions inside the vessel may cause false reflections. Before mounting the sensor, you want to make sure there aren't any obstructions in the beam path. If you can't get away from all the obstructions, the Probe LU may be able to map them out with auto false echo suppression function. Now we'll look at some of the diagnostic information available in the Probe LU. Parameter 805 is used to display the echo confidence. It is shown as two numbers, near zone confidence followed by far zone confidence. Near zone is defined as the area within the first three feet from the sensor face. Far zone is beyond three feet. Ideally, you'd want to have a large number in the near zone or far zone, but not both. If the level is in the near zone, but a strong confidence value is shown in the far zone, this could be indicative of a double reflection. If the level is more than three feet away from the sensor, but a strong near zone confidence is displayed, this could be the sign of ringback or an improper nozzle. Parameter 806 displays echo strength in the range of 0 to 99 decibel. Again, the stronger the signal, the better. Parameter 807 displays noise in decibels. The two noise numbers displayed are average and peak. The noise may be acoustic or electrical in nature. Average noise is generally more important than peak noise, but any average noise greater than 20 decibels may be cause for concern. By connecting the Probe LU to a PC running Siemens PDM software, we can take a look at the complete echo profile. This can tell us where, if any, false echoes are being reported. The Probe LU has many tuning parameters that can be accessed, such as auto false echo suppression, algorithm selection, near zone blanking, and range extension. If you have any questions with these troubleshooting techniques, please call us here at Gilson or Siemens Tech Support at 800-333-7421.